As you know, I'm a huge fan of Orbit Gear and last year, not much is going on, but this year they're coming up with new products after new products. I really like, uh, check out my review of the C301 briefcase, great bag, but I just got this new R102, the clamshell. This is the second generation. This is the one that is, I think a special release, it's called Urban something, the, the blue uh, X-Pac fabric. There are regular versions of this as well. And I always like this bag. I had a review of the first gen. I use that bag a lot because I just found that it's a very cool looking bag. And there are some problems. The second gen here, fixed a lot of it. So this is a, a really, really fun bag. Not perfect, but fun. I'm not doing a full review. I literally just got this, loaded it up. I bought a ticket up, but I thought, hey, let's make a video. So this is just a very, very quick look of it. So if you are not familiar with the clamshell um, model, what makes it so special? It, it has this kind of egg turtle shell-like um, shape. The bottom is slanted, so it doesn't sit up well. This is one of the problems. So that is kind of the design of the back, so I'm not gonna fault it. But what's so neat about it is this slanted bottom is covered with real leather. So this is multi-paint, so it's not a single, single um, sheet of leather, but it feels really good uh, to the hand. It's gonna get, get marked up, but it's just a cool looking bag. And the clamshell design is such that it only comes up down to here. So this is not a full clamshell. There are, you know, six, maybe more inches of bottom here. And that makes the bag very useful because I load the bottom of the bag with stuff that I don't want falling out. And that works really well. So what's new about this guy that I like? The front, if you remember the, the original, it has a single, very small zipper with a kind of a pocket in there that's not very useful. I still use it, but it, it's not easy to get in and out of, and it's not that big. Well, they completely changed that. Now the front has, yeah, three compartments here. The center zip opens up to a space that has a little bit of volume, I would say, because you can stuff it and then this, this fabric would just come out. Inside, it has two elastic um, pockets, which is good for, you know, narrower things and my snack pouch. Uh, this is the Able Carry, um, I don't remember what this is called, but it actually fits in there quite well. Or you can just put a pair of gloves or something in here. So this becomes a useful compartment, but that's not all. The flaps, the wing side, if you like, are also pockets. Now they're very thin and narrow. So not a lot of stuff can go in there, but Things that fits are, on this side, my keys. So there is actually a key leash there. That's why I said, hey, I'm gonna put the keys on this side. But again, snacks, you know, tissue, packs, stuff like that will fit in there. So it is kind of a strange design, but it does work. Um, sides, the straps all around it for good reasons, there are lots of, little uh, space that you can hook, hook, use them to hook uh, things onto, but also side handles. That's cool. The both sides now have these clips, which obviously you can use to attach other orbit gear, other accessories. A little disappointing that um, it's plastic, so they're using plastic hardware now. There's more to that. And let's see what else. I love this back panel. This is a standard back panel. It's just padded enough. Uh, you can put in their optional uh, hip belt. I'm not sure why you need it, but it's also a luggage pass-through, so that's great. The little secret compartment in the back is actually quite wide, so I can just fit my hand in there. Um, so it's good for a wallet or something that you want to keep safe. Uh, laptop compartments in the back. <laughs> Suspended, very well padded. My 13 inch basically disappears in there. It's in here somewhere. And then there's space for more stuff. Um, there's no organization in the front. Uh, I guess this would be the only thing that I wish there was a little bit of 
something here that I can use, but this is a very standard orbit gear design. It has double zipper pulls, but they are, I'm not sure what the term is, but they are kind of offset, right? So you basically have to close it on either side, and that means that you would not forget to close this. The zippers are not uh, weather resistant. I don't know why they did that, but this, they tend to use this new zipper a lot now um, in all the new bags. What else? The front, before I open it, I want to show you this thing. So you see this really long strap here. It's there for a reason. So the way this works is that you can unhook this. Right, so this is a compression strap normally if you like pulling down the bottom half but if you open this up and all the strap comes with sewn in strap keepers you can basically take this strap and have it go all the way around across the body of the front and then you can either hook it onto here or a little bit more onto here so you end up having a cross strap that you can use to hold things outside the bag. And if that's not enough, there are tabs here, 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 here. These four loops, there's an additional accessories that are basically just two straps that you can put into. So you can have two straps coming up, two straps going across, and you can form whatever carrying system you want in front of the bag. So this is kind of a um, replacement for a beaver tail design. So very, very clever. It does get strappy if not using it, but then they include the strap keepers. And again, uh, this little mostly plastic <clears throat> G-hook, this is the same that is in the uh, GORUCK uh, M22. So I, I really wish they would use metal, but it is what it is. Uh, let me finally just show you the front compartment. I said this is not a full review. I just want to show it to you. So it opens up as a mostly clamshell. There are three pockets here. One padded that flips down and then two additional ones. They're useful for, you know, pouches and everything else. The front one is a little bit, this one, it's a little bit small. My iPhone 13 Pro just fits in there. As you can see the front, I need to kind of have to do this to get it inside. I'm not sure a uh, Max would fit in, fit in there. Definitely would not fit sideways. So kind of a small pocket, but uh, it works. Interior, all right? So I have some clothing here, pouches, water bottle, which I'll show you later. And then at the very bottom, two more pouches. So this space is very deep and is useful. There is kind of a stretchy, pocket in the back and then some loops for you to attach typical orbit gear um, pouches now either side have a stretch pocket they are not really water bottle pocket for me though because they're not very big so on this one right my standard 20 ounce yeti doesn't really fit into it now i have to really work it and it basically is just not worth it that's so why let's see if i can yeah, so it's actually not going to fit. So I just leave this inside. And then let me pack this up and show you one last thing. The zippers are kind of beefy, but very smooth, right? So even though you can see the corner being new, it is kind of uh, angle the wrong way but I really have no problem getting the zipper around these corners so even as a new bag um, zipper that is tight it still works out of the box one last thing so look at this this bag is full of surprises it's hard to see but here and here are two additional zippers so this zipper actually opens into a very thin and narrow pocket. Too narrow for water bottle, for regular size water bottle. This is one of my favorite uh, little water bottle from Bougie. They're very, very affordable. 
this guy just kind of fit in there with a little bit of encouragement. So again, lots of these vertical pockets, you know, I think they're good for pens and, and I don't know what, what ever softer, thinner material. But the one on this side actually opens into the main compartment. So I was hoping that this lets me use the water bottle pocket here, but again, that pocket is too small for my Yeti. So I'm just using it to get to the bottle, which is sitting just in the compartment. And that actually works. So there you go. This is a very, very quick run through of the uh, version two of the clamshell. I'll do a full review uh, once I use this more, but it really is a very, very fun, uh, comfortable to wear, by the way, and uh, interesting looking or good looking in my case. Uh, subjectively speaking, uh, good looking back.